today on Running to Him. Jealousy can cause people to reject what God has for them. Today, we will read Acts chapters 13 through 14 and concentrate on chapter 13, verses 43 through 48. Acts 13, 44 through 48 says, The next Sabbath, nearly the whole city assembled to hear the word of the Lord. But when the Jews saw the crowds, they were filled with jealousy and began contradicting the things spoken by Paul and were blaspheming. Paul and Barnabas spoke out boldly and said it was necessary that the word of God be spoken to you first, since you repudiate it and judge yourselves unworthy of eternal life. Behold, we are turning to the Gentiles. For so the Lord has commanded us, I have placed you as a light for the Gentiles, that you may bring salvation to the end of the earth. When the Gentiles heard this, they began rejoicing and glorifying the word of the Lord, and as many as been appointed to eternal life, believed. Well, the events written in Acts chapters 13 and 14 are Luke's telling of Paul and Barnabas' first missionary journey. He's writing a second-hand account of the events. We know this because in Acts 16.10, it begins what is known as the we passages, where Luke becomes part of the group. Acts chapter 13 verses 1 through 3 tells the story of Paul and Barnabas being specifically set aside for a missionary purpose. Interestingly, that's what many churches that send out missionaries today will follow in, as an example. Acts 13 is used by praying for their missionaries and laying their hands on them. This action accomplishes several things. First, it places the missionaries into God's hands. Second, it reminds those who remain to pray for those who they sent out. And finally, it implies that those remaining have a vested interest and participation in the activities of the missionaries. Chapter 14, verses 26 through 28, recounts the story of what happened when Paul and Barnabas returned to Antioch at the end of that journey. In today's call of verses, we see that Paul and Barnabas returned to the synagogue they spoke at the week before. But things quickly changed from the reception they received from that previous week. They were met with jealousy from the leaders of the synagogue. Well, human nature causes us to be protective of that which we feel is important to us. When something or someone threatens our importance, in this case the power the Jewish leaders had over the members of the synagogue, they became jealous and began to refute Paul and Barnabas, even resorting to slander. Paul's response was to tell those leaders that they judged themselves unworthy of eternal life. Now, while we may never go as far as the Jewish leaders did, we can and do sometimes rob ourselves of a blessing from God by disregarding something different from what we know. Obviously, we must be careful and only accept that which has been tested and found true. For example, most Protestants shy away from listening to the chants and hymns of the Eastern Orthodox or Catholicism. They are afraid of the theology but they are missing out on the many blessings they would receive through worshiping God in a different way. Of course, they should be careful and test everything. Thank you for listening. We pray that today's devotion was meaningful to you. We would love to hear from you. You can use either Facebook or YouTube to like, subscribe, share, and tell others about us. If you would like to contact us, you can reach me at Phineas Jacobus at runningtohim.net.